What I'm going to demonstrate here is the use of the amplitude-based effect of enveloping. It's not really a dramatic effect as we've seen, for example, with the time delay plug-in echo, but what it allows me to do is sculpt or change the amplitude contour of a sound over time. This is a bit like volume automation in a door or controlling the faders, gain or volume control on a mixing desk. The important thing is it allows me to sculpt the amplitude changes of a sound over time and pick out bits and pieces that I like. So I've got a drone tone sound here. Let's have a quick listen. Now what I want to do here is clean it up a bit and really just grab a short tone slice at the beginning and have it gradually fade out. So I'm going to use Audacity's envelope tool, come up here and click this icon and you'll see that immediately there's a noticeable difference on screen and this is actually the contour of the envelope. So to create a contour all I do is grab that tool, click and drag and you can see it shapes or changes the envelope over time. I'm going to move over here and click and drag and make another one. And I'm going to move over here and click and drag and pull it right down to about there. And then over here I'm going to grab one more and fade it out. I'm going to come back to the beginning and just pull that down a little bit to give it more of a fade in. Let's have a listen. I'm pretty pleased with that now, so I'm going to export that out. Wave, 24-bit, save, don't worry about the metadata, and we're done.